Now once your application is deployed, next step is to harden the production setup. AWS provides a host of services to secure your infrastructure as well as provides services and tools to audit your environment to make sure it is aligned as per the defined security guidelines. For instance, you could use CloudTrail to log and continuously monitor AWS account activities across your AWS environment. For instance, what changes was made to the AWS VPC configuration, which user account made the change, and what all management APIs were executed. Similarly, to get insights for unauthorized access or even a SSH brute force attack, you can enable AWS Card Duty in your AWS environment. For SSL certificates, you could use AWS Certificate Manager. It provides free SSL certificates that can be used with the AWS Load Balancer. In terms of securing your application, you can set up WAF, Web Application Firewall, and configure common web exploits rules to log and block traffic. There are a lot of pre-configured rules available from the AWS ecosystem which you can leverage to get started. And some of the best practices for managing the production environment includes capturing enough metrics and track usages like CPU, API latency, database connections, and alerting the required team in case the thresholds are not being met. So as a best practice, do spend enough time on defining the monitoring requirements and what needs to be captured. In terms of production setup, run the production resources in its own sub-organization and VPC and manage it through the root account. I talked about how to design AWS organization earlier and how to create root and sub-organizations based on environments. In terms of continuous monitoring, review users and roles, firewall and security configurations allocated to the production environment from time to time and check the insights from required services like AWS Card Duty to check for unauthorized access and block the required IP address. In terms of connectivity, it is recommended to keep all the AWS resources in a private subnet and use a bastion host to connect to your internal and private AWS infrastructure. 